Alright guys, so today I got some stuff in the mail. I got my <clears throat> titanium exhaust wrap for the downpipe. And I also got some of this Reflectigold um, heat shielding, stick-on heat shielding, so that I can put like on the firewall and the strut tower bar, or not the bar, but the strut tower, and um, probably do the uh, top of the hood too. But got that, and then these are just some stainless steel straps for this. So uh, let's go ahead and prepare for that stuff. I'll leave a uh, link in the description below for links to this stuff. It's pretty good stuff. I got it all on Amazon for pretty cheap. So if you need it, use my link. I'd appreciate it. So I'm going to put some of that shielding on this part of the firewall, probably right here, and then probably like along the hood. Um, so we need to get this liner off. Uh, looks like it's held on in a couple different places. There's this little plastic screw down here. Just undo that. And, and it's pretty loose now. Looks like it comes up to behind this little fitting right here. Let's see if I can't um, pull that off without messing up the wiring harness. Alright, so I have this 12 by 24 strip of the reflective gold stuff as well as the actual like tape. Um, what I did was I basically cut out a bigger version of the shielding that we took off of the firewall there. I cut it bigger because you know, I don't want to cut it smaller. So we'll see what it uh, looks like how it, like it fits up there.
So, let's give this a shot here, I guess, huh? So, zoom in, got the shielding sticker stuff there on the strut tower bar, or whatever, and down on the motor mount where I had to grind down, get that manifold to fit. Um, so that's about it for the heat shielding until I can get the roof, or the, the hood that's on the roof back into place and figure out where I need to put the shielding on that. This is my power steering pump reservoir. Use a grinder and cut off wheel. Cut this uh, single bracket off, the one that was one bolt. And I use the, the sanding wheel to uh, smooth it out there. Um, because the way that we're kind of positioning this in there, this was getting in the way, so we're going to get rid of it. We're going to use these bolts here and make a bracket out of some aluminum. And, um, and then it's going to make like an L bracket and use these for bolting it on. So just trying to make sure all this will fit. So from this back screw to the front screw, it is two inches. So I guess I want a little bit extra, so we'll just say three inches on the bottom portion, and then we'll start bending up at three inches. or half inch for bending and the top will be almost eight inches so it looks like that's about enough room for a bend so we'll make it eight inches plus three inches we'll make a an 11 inch piece of aluminum protection going on. I don't really want to breathe in metal shards and dust.
it doesn't have to be exact because we can drill the holes a little bit bigger than what the, the threads are because it has this washer on there or we could even put another washer but this will give us a good start we can get that bolted down and then bend it up I'm only drilling this right here because I'm too lazy to uh, move the camera Probably a bad idea now that I got little metal shards everywhere. that'll work. Just need to bend this bracket a little bit more this way. for this up pretty good. I'm gonna find the nuts and bolts that I uh, bought for this.
Okay. That'll work pretty good. Let's go to the top and take it off. Have room for the inner core popping to come down. So, right now, I've decided to go a different route. I have taken the stock line and trimmed it down and put a one inch uh, barbed like connector. And basically, I'm hoping that I can get this to fit like that. But it's, it's kind of a pain to get onto here, so right now I'm taking the uh, reservoir back out so that I can attach the hose to it while it's out of the engine bay. need to put some clamps on. Alright, cool. That's what I did. I used to reuse the stock line and just put a coupler in between it, trim down the lines, made it work. Used the bolt holes for the charcoal canister mount, bent up this aluminum bracket, drilled some holes. So now all I have to do is finish extending that line and that line, plug them into those two ports right there, and then extend the wiring to uh, meet up with the wiring over here where it used to be. And that'll be it for the power steering pump. Then we can get to uh, mounting the turbo and downpipe and finishing up the exhaust. This needs to get bent over a little bit, so I'm going to try and do it with it in there already. We'll see how it goes. there and got it all clamped in got it zip tied up away that's where I put a new line connected at 
And that's where I cut the line right there and just connected this hose and just did some zip ties to keep it close, far away from the manifold as I can. So yeah. That should do it. Alright, well I got everything mopped up. Turbo-wise anyway. There's some new precision, 6266. Downpipe fits really well. I don't know if you can see down there or not. And got the precision wastegate right there with the dump tube. Comes close to the frame there, but I think it'll be all right. I mean, it's only gonna get hot when I go you know, into boost and stuff, so. Um, got the intercooler piper, uh, <laughs> piper. Uh, intercooler pipe just mocked up here. It doesn't go into anything. It's right there. Waiting for my intercooler to get here. And it sits pretty high. Like there's the, so I don't know. Might have to, uh, turn it down so the, the outlet faces down or at least not a right angle maybe like at a 45 or straight down and then just try and get the uh, intercooler piping through the stock hole here and meet up with the intercooler so that'll be it for this video um, next video I think I'm gonna be trying to um, make the exhaust that um, meets up from the downpipe and then connects to my uh, cat back or my test pipe to the cat back and maybe I'll throw in some intercooler fitting and piping modifications so seems like we're almost on the home stretch here I need to put my oil feed and oil return on I'm waiting for the fitting for here and the uh, oil return fitting as well so whenever that gets in the mail I'll get on that but uh yeah I think it's coming along nice don't forget to uh like and comment below and you know if you're not a subscriber please subscribe it, it, every subscriber helps you know I just like doing these videos I mean if you like watching them definitely subscribe I got plenty coming um what else i guess that's probably it um i've been toying with the idea of making some stickers or some t-shirts if you guys are into that leave a comment below and let me know if you'd be interested in that um either goodzilla related or just you know skyline related in general maybe both i don't know but anyway yeah until next time guys uh We'll see you later. See you.